I'm no stranger to Hisense's ultra-short throw laser TVs. I have covered multiple systems in the past several years, which have all come with various enhancements over the rest. Each year, Hisense improves its laser TV tech with new features, and the latest 90L5H device comes with new perks too. However, the biggest factor to consider here with this new model is its 90-inch panel, which makes it a lot more affordable than the previous models. This 90-inch laser TV will set you back 34,999 Rand, and it's quite a bargain for what you get. Getting. The real raw truth of the matter here is that for 35,000 Rand you can't get a 90 inch TV, so this laser TV is a fantastic option for those looking at larger entertainment solutions. It comes with most modern day features you would expect from a laser TV too, including 4K, HDR and Dolby Vision, as well as built in 30 watt speaker system that compromises of two 15 watt speakers. It also comes with auto low latency mode for gaming. On the gaming front, Hisense has also brushed up some of its motion tools to lower the response rate of the TV, which also increases the overall smoothness of gaming. If you haven't seen an ultra short throw laser TV before, you need to know exactly what this tech is about. When you purchase a unit, it essentially comes with two items. You get the tech box itself which packs the X-Fusion laser and all the speakers and ports. You then also get a 90 inch ambient light rejection screen where the laser shoots the image onto. Hisense arranged all the delivery and the setup of the 90L5H for me. The team at Blinkstallation came through to install the unit which revolved around assembling the screen, drilling some holes into the wall, mounting the panel and aligning the laser TV underneath it. The real work behind the setup of this TV is really the screen assembly and drilling. Calibrating the laser TV unit itself to the screen is fairly simple and anyone can do it. It revolves around aligning the image from the unit to the corners of the screen. This can be done manually by dragging the points on the screen with the remote or via a smartphone. However, I've always found the smartphone method to be a bit buggy and if anything takes way too much time than needed. Once set up, the Hisense 90L5H is quite an attention seeker. Its giant screen is definitely a striking feature to have in your home. Everyone that came to visit me during my review period was impressed by this large cinema sized display on my wall. Sure you get bigger laser screens from Hisense out there but somehow this 90 inch panel was a great middle ground for the experience. The 90 inch panel also works great for large rooms as it has a recommended viewing distance of 3.5 meters. So you can position your life around it without worrying about losing image quality. From a tech point of view, the Hisense 90L5H of course uses a different approach to its image than traditional TVs. Instead of the backlight of the TV powering the experience here, the TV uses what Hisense calls is an X-Fusion laser to project the image onto the screen. Technically it is a projector and not a TV, but Hisense says the features on offer here such as ARM, 4K HDR and Dolby Vision align this device more with a TV than projectors, and that's why the company calls it a TV. The definition of a TV is an electronic system of transmitting images and sound over a wire or through space by devices that change light and sound into electrical waves and then change these back into light and sound. Everything there is exactly what the Hisense 90L5H does, so it does warrant its tag as a TV. Other TV features here include two HDMI ports certified at 4K 60Hz, an optical audio port, Ethernet, and two USB ports. Hisense calls the one HDMI port an ultra high speed port, but in fact it is just an HDMI 2.0 port with eARC support. This means there's no 4K 120Hz support on this unit at all. I am yet to test the Hisense laser TV with 4K 120Hz support, but hopefully it will come soon. All of this is packed into a device which sits on the TV stand quite nicely under the display. The box includes some adjustable feet which helps with the alignment of the image. The speakers are then found on the front and you can slightly see them through the mesh. The entire front unit is 531 by 117 by 335 millimeters and it weighs 7.7 .7 kilograms. The general design is nice. I wouldn't say it is as fancy as the L9G unit I reviewed last year. The model had a stunning starlight finish on the box which looked super premium. The unit is nice, don't get me wrong. It also uses high sensors Vita OS and I do enjoy how fluid the system feels to get around. Apps launch quickly, stay running in the background for long and things just work. Hisense has yet to roll out Disney Plus on Vita yet. The company said it would arrive in mid-2022 and that is likely the only app missing from the service at this point. 
The Xfusion laser is able to produce a native 3840 x 2160 image. The lens measures up to 2100 lumens, but it's hard to compare that to the nits of a TV. That's because nits are measured by the total light emitting from a source, whereas the short throw projector shoots light from its lens onto the screen. I would say that this laser TV is as bright as you would expect a 500 nits TV to be. In a light room, you can still see what's happening on the panel when you're within the viewing angles. The ambient light rejection screen goes a long way to dispel backlighting in the room too, so if you have a back facing window, the matte finish on the screen will reduce the amount of glow it causes on the panel. Testing out the Hisense laser TV is a little different from other TVs I review. There's no real way to measure the nits, you can't test out the dimming zones, black uniformity and colour accuracy. That's because the source once again shoots the image onto the screen. However, I can tell you that the Hisense 90 L5H does a decent job delivering entertainment across the board. Watching Dolby Vision videos on Netflix resulted in vibrant images shown as crisp as possible. Hisense's pure colour tech delivers accurate colour that looks great. This is elevated by the 3000 to 1 contrast ratio which delivered rich black detail without the image quality getting washed out. Even streaming DSTV's shoddy 720p content on the app look great. The upscaling methods also work well here. When it comes to gaming, the Hisense 90 L5H is able to produce a one-of-a-kind experience. To play LEGO 2K Drive and Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on a 90-inch display is unworldly. Every game I threw at the TV looked great. The input lag was also incredibly low. I measured 28.5 milliseconds on 4K 60Hz games, which was decent too. There's no 120Hz on this unit, so gaming is limited to 60Hz, which is also okay. There are still very few games out there that really take advantage of 120Hz properly. The viewing angles on the Hisense 90 L5H were good. There's definitely a loss of quality on the image when you're sitting on the side of the screen. Anything say past the 50 degree mark starts to look washed out. You can still see what's going on on the TV at the time, but the colour and brightness is diminished. You'll want to try set this up as centred to your couch as possible. The more dramatic angles to the side, say around the 70 degree mark, do get quite nasty to look at. Not only is the image quality quite bad, but you can also see the reflection from the laser unit which causes even more problems. So 45 degrees is the sweet spot here. Again, this is similar to other TVs on the market anyway. The sound system is also surprisingly decent. By no stretch of the imagination does this 215 watt speaker system produce Dolby Atmos sound, but I did find the sound to be ample enough to enjoy movies and games. I have found myself not using my sound system as much as possible with low chilling due to the amount of power it uses. So the speakers on the unit here offered enough punch to enjoy the explosions in June and the gunfire from the Division 2. Of course, if you want surround sound and all the great listening features, you'll want to stick to your other sound systems. Lastly, I wanted to test out what low chilling was like just to see how much power this unit consumes. Given our current state of blackouts in South Africa, it is nice to see that the Hisense laser unit is quite adaptable for load shedding. When in use, the unit consumed 235 watts of power. This was with the backlighting on max. Lowering the backlighting to a minimum reduced this wattage to 130 watts. On my EcoFlow Delta 2, max backlight would see the unit last for 4 hours. With the backlighting set to low, this was then pushed to 6 hours. There's no real way to extend this further due to the laser unit always using the same brightness that's set in the settings. Even on black images, the unit would still use the same energy to produce the same image. So is the Hisense 90 L5H any good? While considering it only costs 35,000 Rand, there's a lot of value here. The unit makes a statement and the 90 inch panel provides a next level cinematic experience in your home. I did find the unit to be a bit dimmer than the previous models I tested, like the 9LG. This meant I had to take into consideration how bright the room was. The previous model was super bright even in bright rooms, without the curtains drawn. So keep that in mind if you have a very bright room and there's no way for you to darken it. Of course, you can't compare this TV to say a mini LED unit on the market because that's not what it is. This is a large scale entertainment system and for that it definitely leaves its mark. So those are my thoughts on the Hisense 90 L5H. Are you looking to pick one of these models up? Let me know in the comments down below. Also shout out if you have any questions. Huge thanks to Hisense for sending this unit my way to test. Be sure to visit www.glitchedonline for more gaming tech news and reviews and please consider liking and subscribing while you're here. Until next time, farewell.